Today, Union High School hosted a Black Men in White Coat Summit. Students met with doctors from OSU Medical Center to learn a little bit more about the medical field. News on 6's Mallory Thomas tells us the goal of the program is to get more minorities interested in medical jobs. Students are getting a chance to learn about a lot of different things today. They're learning how to put in an IV, how to do CPR, and they're also getting a chance to talk to doctors and training. The room is full of students with big dreams. I really like pedi pediatric just because I've been able to like shadow pediatricians and like been exposed to that. But I think as like when I get into my clinical rotations and get like experience into different fields, I get to explore other options as well. Cushy Park hopes today is the first step in making the dreams a reality for her classmates. She's one of the students who organized the summit and events specifically targeting minorities. To increase our representation in medicine and what that can be and what that can become is I mean, anybody's gamble. But what it's been awesome to be able to see is having conversations with kids about what we do for a living and being able to offer that as these are skills and I'm actively looking for colleagues. Christopher McNeil hopes today will also help with recruiting in the future. Kids can't be what they can't see. If they can see me and I can be actively in front of them, there's ways that we can talk about medicine as we talk about STEM. For some students, putting on a white coat today could be a look into their future. Putting on a white coat symbolizes like the journey of getting there in the medical field. And so for all of the younger kids to be able to put one on and see that they can do the same thing that many of the other adults in this room are doing as well is an amazing thing. And I think it's a big deal. This is the first year for the summit. They're hoping that it'll be an annual event every year and that they'll be able to have more students from across the state come back to this. In Tulsa, Mallory Thomas, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.